Welcome back, current and future rail fans. This is Rowan and Jackson. What's, What's going on, everybody? Man, we have had a night. We have just driven from Virginia to what's this place called? Scott City, Missouri. Scott City, Missouri. It was about 11 and a half hours of driving. He and I tag team through the night to get here for, as you saw, the Union Pacific 4014 Big Boy Steam Locomotive. So, we are going to be chasing from Scott City, Missouri, mm -hmm. over to Chester, Illinois, for the whistle stop that's happening there. And then from there, we're picking up, I think it's a Route 3, all the way up to St. Louis, where we should be ending our day. Have no clue what is going to come up today, because we're not from here, and that last shot was a mess of people, okay? Just way too many people to count on every single shot we've planned. So we'll do the best that we can. Jackson's going to give you a little intro on this locomotive for those of you who are maybe new to the channel or new to rail fanning so you understand what you're watching. All right, so Union Pacific locomotive number 4014 is uh, a 4884 uh, wheel arrangement locomotive. So it has four leading wheels, uh, two sets of eight driving wheels, and then four trailing wheels. It's an articulated locomotive, which means the front set of driving wheels swivels. Um, and it is called the Big Boy. Uh, when it was originally built in September of 1941, uh, they were going to call it the Wasatch type. Um, However, uh, a worker at the American Locomotive Company plant in Schenectady, New York, chalked Big Boy on the front of the locomotive, uh, the first locomotive in the series, engine number 4000, uh, and the name stuck. So ever since that time, uh, since the first one was built, the name of this class of locomotive has been called Big Boy, the largest steam locomotive operating in the entire world. It's incredible. Uh, the engine was restored uh, between 2014 and 2019 by Union Pacific Steam Crew in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and it debuted in May 2019, the 150th anniversary of the Transcontinental Railroad's completion. It's a pretty cool event. I mean, I, I wish I had been able to come out to that. I think if if all goes as planned, we're going to have a great finale shot in St. Louis for you guys. So stay tuned to the end of the video, and I hope you enjoy it. Come chase along with us. Have a great time. Glad I got eyes on it. That was kind of the goal. We were looking for smoke, but uh, I'd say about 30 mile an hour, Jackson. If I had to guess, I'd say it's going about 30. Okay. So. We're going 50. All right, we're doing 50. Cool. So we should be gaining on him after that heck of a time getting out of Thebes. 
going slow. You think? I think so, I don't know. When steam train chasing, smoke is an awesome sign. Also, when steam train chasing, having you know a plane or helicopter to get you from spot to spot yeah. is, a, is a must have if you want to get to all, you know all the shots you want. It's advantageous, that's for sure. Okay, we found us uh, uh, ourselves between two cornfields here, pulled over on the side of Gorham Road. This is an old. Uh, what railroad was this, Jackson? Missouri Pacific. Missouri Pacific signals that still stand. Out here. Original to the 40s or 50s, not sure which, but these were here in the steam era, and the steam era ended in 1953 on the Missouri Pacific. That's incredible. Well, we're here parallel. We found a spot. We did end up getting ahead of it. So, let's see. And we got it on. Okay. That's the plan, is to get some kind of a short little parallel shot. There's not much parallel road up here. It, they all kind of, the roads follow the shape of the cornfields and farms and such. So, it's, it's very hard to get that parallel shot. And there have been, I kid you not, this is not an exaggeration, thousands of people out here, trackside, chasing this thing down. Cars pulling off everywhere, jumping into the road, jumping out of the road. So this has been a real struggle for y'all's boys, but we're determined to get one pace shot today, and I think this one's going to be the one. What do you think? I think so. This is it. If we don't get another Dude, that made me jump, bro. That was terrifying. That was, that was insane. Let's see if I can get it through like here. Right, right on, baby. There he is, out there in the field. We're gonna get him. Barely, but we're gonna get him. There he goes. Just missed him. All right, we're pulling into Chester, Illinois. Um, after that wild segment of the chase, we've got some awesome parallel shot. Right over yonder is the Mississippi River, the granddaddy of all rivers. And then across the river, of course, is Missouri. So this right here off to our right is where Big Boy will be putting on a show. There's a depot. Oh, they do have a union. That is a depot up there. I wasn't sure what that building was on the map, but this is the spot to be. Look at all these people. Shh. Talk about popular. Look at the beauty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness.
Is, isn't that cool? Isn't that nice? 4014. Big boy locomotive. Up close and personal. Our turn is up. So we're going to start making our way back here. Yeah, we're going to head up the road. Okay, we're going to get close to our next location before all these people get there. That was a great shot. Yes, sir. Jackson, thank Definitely you for letting was. me use the bed of your truck. Anytime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are en route to St. Louis, Missouri now. That is our final stop. We'll catch you when we're there. Well, rail fans, welcome to St. Louis, Missouri, everybody. We made it. Yeah. So this bridge over here is called the MacArthur Bridge. All right. Union Pacific 4014 is going to be crossing on that bridge. Uh, it used to be a double rail and road bridge, but now it's just railroad only.
It's been a long day, Jackson. It sure has. <laughs> Not even a full day when you get down to it. It really uh, has been under 24 hours, and we've traveled over a thousand yeah, miles. About a thousand. Um, tag teaming through the night to get here from Front Royal, Virginia, and then 120 miles? About 120 miles for the chase today. Yeah, from Scott City to St. Louis. So I'd say that's pretty good. And we got to drive through the majority of Illinois, which was very interesting to say the least from a top beautiful topographical country. standpoint. Um, beautiful country. This is like the part of America that I've never seen. So this was a really cool trip to get out here. And for a great reason, we had the world's largest continuous operating steam locomotive, the Union Pacific Big Boy 4014. I mean, you can't miss that. That's what made this trip like a necessity. We were like, we have got to get out and see this. So super glad we got that, man. Mm -hmm. um, so, but we're, we're gonna go ahead and call it short because we're, we're about tuckered out. It's time for us to get back to Virginia. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Those three things support this channel immensely and make trips like this possible and greater trips in the future possible as well. Be sure to follow this gentleman right here at Piedmont District Rail Fan on YouTube. The Piedmont District Rail Fan will be linked above and in the description. Make sure you check him out. As always, from here in St. Louis, Missouri. Be sure to stay, stay safe, safe. God, God bless, bless, and happy, happy foaming. foaming.